Selling on Amazon is changing day by day because Amazon's developer wants you to make more money, hence they are providing you more and more tools to expand your e-commerce business. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can fulfill uh, your uh, Shopify orders, Etsy orders, Walmart or eBay orders from Amazon. Let's suppose you are selling a product on Amazon and you are having the listing on Amazon and you are having an inventory in Amazon FBA warehouse. And on the same time, you want to sell your products on multiple platforms on some other marketplaces like Shopify, Etsy, Walmart or eBay. And you don't want to purchase an extra inventory uh, for those platforms and you don't want to hold uh, that, that inventory on your house and ship that inventory when you get an order on Shopify or Etsy. So uh, to do so, Amazon launched a program a long ago which is called MCF, which means Multi-Channel Fulfillment. So today I'm going to be talking about that channel that is it worth using that channel or not and how much it is going to cost you and, uh, and how you can use it to fulfill your Shopify, Etsy or any other marketplace order. So in short, your inventory will be on Amazon FBA warehouse and you list the same product on Shopify or any other marketplace. And when you get that order, uh, that product order on Shopify or any other marketplace, you can simply use MCF order from Amazon. So Amazon will fulfill your uh, order of Shopify to that customer, to that address. So all the information you will get in this video. So keep on watching. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see here on my computer screen, I am on the Amazon MCF page. So you can just log into that page by typing amazon.com slash MCF. And you can, when you scroll down to this, uh, you can see that uh, all the details are present here. That why you have to choose MCF and what will be the benefits you will get. So when you go down, you can see all the faces and all the pricing and you will be able to know that in which country this MCF program is available. So let me just first of all tell you that how much it's going to cost you to fulfill your MCF order. So for that, we need to first to understand the two fees, the FBA fees and the storage fee of Amazon. And then I'll break down that fee so you will be able to know that how much it's going to cost you to store your inventory to Amazon FBA warehouse and delivering that inventory with Amazon fulfillment to your Shopify customer or any other marketplace customer. So for example, if we go on Amazon.com and from there, we can just select any product. Uh, let's suppose we can select this garlic press and we just copy the ASIN of this garlic press and then we go to Amazon FBA calculator. We can see that this product is selling for $14.97. So we put the ASIN of this product here and then we put $14.9 and when we click on calculate, we will be able to know that Amazon is charging $3.77 fee for the Amazon fulfillment and $2.24 fee for the Amazon selling fee. So this Amazon selling fee is like a commission which Amazon is getting from you whenever you get a sale from Amazon. So this commission Amazon will charge you only when you get a sale from Amazon. But if you get a sale from Shopify and you are just fulfilling your order from Amazon, so Amazon will charge you only the storage fee and the shipping fee, not the Amazon commission like Amazon selling fee. So for example, but if you are selling this garlic press from uh, on Amazon and you list the same garlic press on your Shopify or Etsy store and you got the order on your Etsy store and you want to fulfill that order from Amazon. So Amazon will not charge you this $2.24 selling on Amazon fee but Amazon will charge you only $3.77 which is Amazon storage fee and Amazon shipping fee. Amazon can ship your product from UPS or uh, Amazon Prime Vans. So I just explained this information with this example and if you want to learn about information like uh, how many ounces, how many weight, how much packaging, dimension you need to follow to get the X amount of course. So you can just read this whole page and you will find plenty of more information from here. So now as you have already understand that how much Amazon is going to cost you uh, when you ship your order uh, from Amazon for any other platform. So now I'm going to tell you that for example if you list a product on Shopify and you got the order so how you will fulfill uh, that Shopify order from Amazon MCF. 
So as you can see here, I'm on my seller central and I'm having this product, Jumbo Plastic Non-Rusting Cloth Packs. So if I list this cloth pack on Shopify and receive one order, I receive the order, order number, uh, the customer's name and customer address. So now I want to fulfill this order from MCF. So first of all, I need to copy the ASIN of this product and then I have to go above and from this order step, I have to click on create MCF order. And here I have to select the country in which I am selling. So for example, I got the order from UK. Uh, so here I have to fill all this form for the customer information, like the customer name, the customer address, customer city, phone number, email, and all that information. And here I have to type the ASIN of that product, which I want Amazon to ship to my customer. And I have to click on search. And when Amazon search, I have to click on plus. So Amazon has added that jumbo plastic non-rusting cloth bags here. So for example, I receive a uh, order for four units. So I can change the units here four, and then I have to uh, like uh, type the order ID of the Shopify or HC and you can leave it blank. But if you are having the, your order ID on any other platform, so you can just copy and paste that order ID and then you can just write a message to your customer like thank you for your order or any optional detail. And then when you fill out all this form, you just click on place the order. That's it. When you click on this place the order, Amazon will pick your product, pack your product and ship your product to your customer outside of Amazon. So look how easy it is to sell your product, your inventory which is currently present in Amazon FBA warehouse to some other platforms like Shopify, Walmart, eBay and uh, etc. So in that way you can just expand your business to other marketplaces as well while your inventory is still in Amazon FBA warehouse. So it's a super important, super powerful and super cool tool that you can use to expand your e-commerce business so you can get more and more sales and you can get more and more revenue. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can just watch my video again if you don't understand anything and you can try this method to increase your Amazon revenue. And if you found any difficulty in this method or any other problem you are facing on Amazon, then you can just contact me anytime. You can just write down your problem in the comment box below or you can just book a 15 minutes call with me from the link in the description below. So I'll try my best with my knowledge to help you out in your Amazon business or in your e-commerce business problem. Because I always try to help you out in increasing your Amazon or e-commerce business and I always make the videos which help you to increase your sales and increase your e-commerce revenue. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.